is Mark Hillary. Um, I'm a writer and analyst focused on technology. I'd like to introduce Andreas Truski, who's head of the SAP Business Intelligence Department at IBA Group. I know IBA Group is a participant of the Master in SAP conference, uh, and you're going to be presenting your solution based on SAP Performance Management, SAP PAPM. Um, what are the performance management solutions that are in high demand right now, Andre? Uh, thank you, Mark. Well, uh, the today's IT world is bringing new opportunities, and at the same time, it's making market conditions more challenging. Companies can no longer compete without digital performance management because these solutions do a lot for operational decision making. Large and even mid sized companies already own various software that generates thousands and millions of transactions every day. Usually, this information is handled and stored for different reasons. And the main question is well, can we somehow capitalize on this data? We need an analytic solution that can process all this data and give us a clear picture of companies' output. So the task is to find sources of growth and finally turn the data into our asset. Okay, and so why did you choose SAP? I mean, why the PAPM um, performance management platform for, for the solution you built? Well, first, um, PAPM is enterprise performance management solution of new generation. It has powerful finance and risk calculation engine, simulation capabilities, and scenario management. PAPM can be seamlessly integrated into customer's landscape and it improves decision making, which is very important today. Well, and also using what if analysis, user can switch between best options and he can judge what happens if I switch to an, another revenue driver, for example, or how can I motivate our subscriber, subscribers to consume more and which target groups should I address first? Does it make sense to increase infrastructure capacity in one region and decrease in another one? So all these questions are the scope for PAPM. Okay, and do you have an example? I mean, how did PAPM work for, for one of your customers? Okay, well, um, our customer is Tele2, the fourth biggest mobile operator in Russia. They tried to implement multi-level uh, margin calculation using various software products. None of them was able to fulfill the requirements. In 2018, SAP released a new performance management tool. We conducted several validation and sizing sessions and decided to implement a pilot. So the goal was to deploy self-service analytic system and develop predictive models in order to support strategic decision making. And PAPM helped us to achieve this. And, and what was unique about this project? I mean, why was this project so interesting then? Well, this was the first PAPM implementation in the world. SAP released a finalized product in July 18th, and months later we launched the pilot. It was special because of its size and complexity. It involved 40 million of measurement units and billions of allocated data records. And how did the, the client actually benefit from this then? Well, using this solution, our client can optimize resource utilization. They can run marketing campaigns more effectively, addressing specific user groups. Also, we can see which points of sales are effective and which are not. The solution enables the customer to detect margin leakages and identify the sources of these leakages. It is also possible to explore, explore the data in detail, like we would use a magnifying glass. The solution is now feeding also the customer's budgeting system with accurate and well-structured key figures. It makes planning process more sophisticated and intelligent. That's great, Andre. Thanks for sharing those ideas and, and good luck at the Master in SAP conference. Oh, thank you, Mark.